This program and its contents are designed for information and educational purposes only. This program does not render medical advice or professional services and is not intended to be a substitute for professional care. The information provided here should not be used for the purposes of diagnosing or treating a medical or psychiatric condition. If you have or suspect you may have a health problem, consult your health care provider. Hi, welcome to Positive Momentum TV. I'm Diane Silva, and today I have Dr. Scott Butler from Boys Town and also UNO. We're going to talk about techniques, on um, calming techniques. Is that what, how you want to take this? <laughs> I'm kind yeah, of flustering. I think um, when we think of anxiety and fears, people frequently jump to breathing techniques, but there's a whole bunch of other things that we can do that are just as easy or even faster. Okay, let's that try That we em. can play with. I would love to do that. So people are used to thinking of the whole fight or flight response. Right. Give us an example of, of a time you've maybe experienced that you've been in a situation and it's just, I've got to get out of here. I've actually have gotten out of here. I've gotten off an aircraft. I was sitting in that seat watching them de-ice the plane and, you know, mind running, you know, all these what ifs. And, you know, I got a great imagination. Me and Stephen King, let's go head to head. <laughs> so in that situation, it probably felt like there's nothing I can do. I have to get out. Yes, I did. So that's that fight and flight response. Right. Our brains also have this wonderful response called rest or digest. Huh, um, I've not heard of that it's one. It's the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay. Um, think of how you feel after a great Thanksgiving dinner. Nap time. Right. <laughs> so if we could instantly trigger that kind of feeling when you're in that plane, Ooh. wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh, that would be fabulous. Let's do this. So there's ways we can go about doing that. And of course, the breath is part of that. That's okay. what people who do yoga and such are working on. But in that plane, you probably can't just stop and start doing poses. You start doing downward facing dog. <laughs> yes. They would probably kick you off rather than have you walk off. Yes. So let's do a few of those. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but you'll, okay. you'll show me. What I want you to do is to find the spot in your jaw that where the where the jawbone connects. Can you feel that? I think so. Just start rubbing oh. that spot. Okay. These are some of the strongest muscles in our body, and therefore they carry some of the most intense tension. Okay. A lot of people carry their stress and anxiety in their jaw. Okay. So as you do that, as you rub that, I want you just to gradually open your mouth wider and wider and take, start taking a big, deep inhale. You're making me yawn. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay? okay. Because a yawn is rest and digest. Okay. When we yawn, we bring in all sorts of oxygen to our, to our body and it triggers all that relaxation. Oh, wow. So by rubbing that spot, gradually opening our mouth, gradually taking a deep breath. Sorry. Right, you're gonna what? get that yawn. Mm. And that's if a for good some thing. reason you don't yawn, uh, after you take that deep breath, you purse your lips together and blow out. Okay. There's a nerve that comes down the side of our face called the vagal nerve. Okay. And that's why when you give a baby a pacifier, it calms them down. Oh. They're triggering that vagal nerve. We can do the same thing as part of breathing. Okay. Could you do that on that plane? Oh, yeah. There you go. You know, and even if somebody looked at me like I was crazy, you know, I was already feeling pretty crazy, you know, and I, I think that's part of the whole anxiety thing, you know. It builds on itself. And, yes, and, and then you feel crazy, and then what are they going to think? And, oh, you know, so, wah, before you know it, right. full panic. Right. So that fight or flight exists in a, a somewhat primitive part of our brain. It, it's down in the center of our brain. Um, rest and digest can be part of our prefrontal cortex. It's the thinking part of our brain. Okay. So anything we can do that triggers that is going to be helpful as well. So basically, it might even be best to do this, just start getting used to doing this whenever, anytime you're stressed or anytime you think about it, because this way when you're in that panic or uncomfortable, stressful situation, you can go to that because we don't think when we're in those situations. And a lot of At these things are things we do automatically when we're feeling stressed. Okay. Have you ever seen the person who's stressed who's doing this and they're rubbing their oh, forehead? Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> so that's another one of those. If you take three fingers right above your eye on each side. Okay. And just stretch them out from your hairline to your eyebrow, right above the middle of your eye, and rub there. Okay, that's oh. a relaxation point. Oh yeah. It pulls the blood to the, to the front of your brain, and therefore it's pulling the blood away from the part of your brain where that, that amygdala, fight or flight yeah. exists. Okay. So again, something you could do in the midst of a panic attack on a plane. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Some of these are just real simple little trigger points. They're, they're wonderful, but nobody, you know, nobody knows them. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, my granddaughter's taking, get, going to Boys Town for some treatment for um, and her anxiety. And one of the things they're teaching is um, grounding. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was fabulous, you know, and, and she's showing me this technique and I'm like, why doesn't this option open to everybody? So I love what you're teaching. So are there Right, other? so, and we can learn from the animal kingdom. So gorillas, if you go to the, the zoo and watch the gorillas, frequently what they'll do when they're feeling stressed or anxious is they'll cross their arms and they'll tap their shoulders. Oh. That's another one that we can do. Just quick little shoulder taps. It's triggering both sides of your body, therefore triggering both sides of your brain. Awesome. A quick little calming strategy. It's kind of like giving yourself a hug because it, it crosses over when we teach it to little kids. We call it butterfly hugs. Oh, Isn't cool. that a nice name for something? Yes, that's a wonderful name. I like that. And, and it's so hard, and, and it's so wonder. I mean, wonderful. It's I can't come up. Yes. Easy Yes, and to it's do. simple and easy to remember. Yeah. Right. We also have these spots um, that are great pressure points that we can trigger. You have this little dip in your collarbone there. Right. If you go about two inches down and two inches over on either side, you'll find a little divot, just a little soft spot in your bone there. Okay. I got either lost. Right here. Okay. Okay. I feel them. You can, if you push on it, it kind of hurts. Yeah. That's an acupressure point. It's been known in Chinese medicine for thousands of years. And it's kind of a reset button. So if you think your garbage disposal's not working and you need to reset it <laughs> and get it started over again, that's what this point is. So just by pushing on that, tapping on that, wow. rubbing that, it kind of is a calming reset button. That, those are not wonderful techniques. I gotta find that one and I'm maybe get a tape measure or something. An inch or two down, <laughs> an inch or two over. But but you'll know because it has a, it's like very sensitive. It's or, very sensitive. It's know. just a little spot in between um, the bones there. Well, I just got so much of me that I don't think I have a whole lot of dents. <laughs> I'm working on that. And those are those are all did. things that we can do they instantly trigger that parasympathetic nervous system. Awesome. And as wonderful as our brain is, um, it's pretty easy to fool. Yeah. So when it's triggered on that fight or flight, we can quickly trigger that rest and relaxation or rest and digest as a way to turn that fight or flight off. I love these tips and we're going to come back in a little bit and we'll go into more of them. This is, I think these are going to be lifesavers, at least I can say for me, you know, and, and they're very helpful and as suggested, use them, get used to using them normally and then you'll automatically do them when, you, when you're in stressful situations. Right, and don't wait. Do right. it while you're getting ready to board the plane. That's great. Oh, I love it. <laughs>